Okay, well, I'm going to try again. I just made a video. It did not work. Let's see if I just put you a little bit closer. Maybe I can do without this one. I don't know. I, mean, I really need to do, use the microphone, but I'm not going to. I wanted to tell you very quickly. I know I look like hell, and uh, I'm probably talking a little bit stupid because I had to take a little bit of pain medication. I ended up having to pull that tooth today. Long story short, what an ordeal. I had to get it out. Could not handle it no more. Got it out. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys, I've been meaning to tell you this for days about a, I need my Coke from over there, about a um, virus, a computer virus that's going around in which uh, the people can get inside of your camera, your webcam, and uh, watch you. No matter where you're at in your house, you know, no matter what's going on, if you have your webcam um, open, your laptop open, or your webcam just sitting you know, on, um, they can watch every move you make inside your house. Terrifying. Um, the way that you get it is that it is, uh, I was watching Dateline the other day, and I hardly ever watch any of that stuff, but I happened to catch this, and I had to stop and watch it. And um, I'm glad I did. Um, anyway. It comes in your email in one of those e-cards, and it says something along the lines of your admirer has sent you an e-card, or your secret admirer, or something like that comes to your email. So if you think that you have opened one of those things, um, or your kids may have, or whatever, you know, we're particularly vulnerable people that, you know, blog, blog and blog and all that because we leave our stuff, you know, we're just... We leave it open, and, and uh, a lot of times the webcams are on, you know, a good portion of the day. The way that you can keep them from seeing you, if you think that you may have done that, is just to disable your webcam when you're not using it, or if you have a laptop, just to shut the lid, and that will keep them from being able to view you. Obviously, they can't view you while you're using it. Um, so... Just wanted to pass that information along because it scared the daylights out of me. And the only way you can find out if you have one of those viruses is just to take your computer in. So if you, uh, you know, and tell them that you think you may have opened that and it is just like a regular virus, something that gets in your computer. So uh, anyway, very scary. And I'm not sure if virus protection runs against that or what. I didn't hear anything about that. But, you know, hopefully we all have virus protection, but still very scary. Now, at the same time I was watching that, so now I have a doc recommend because that day um, also they um, were saying that uh, a lady uh, named Linda Pugash had passed away. And Linda Pugash was the um, subject of a, a documentary that I actually had on my list to do a doc recommend about, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. But it was a documentary called Crazy Love. And it w had, this took place in the 50s, late 50s. Um, Linda Pugash, was a, that wasn't her main name. Um, she was an Italian, dark, gorgeous, beautiful woman in New York City. And she started an affair with this Bernie Pugash. And um, he was an older man who was married. And um, then she kept wanting him to leave his wife, and he wouldn't. So she... Um, stopped seeing him and started dating somebody else and she got engaged and this man she was engaged to was an absolute dreamboat and Bernie Pugash was a very very jealous man and he sent some thugs to her house and they threw lie in her face and she was blinded and disfigured by that and um, he did end up going to jail as an accessory to the crime I'm holding my camera so it's hurt, kind of hurting my arm um, he did end up going to jail as an accessory to the crime, and he was there for like 14 years or whatever. But the whole time that he was there, he was sending her letters, and he was, you know, he wooed her and and uh, said he was so sorry, and he begged her forgiveness, and blah, 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 blah. Now, there was no way in hell that I would take a man back that had done this to me, but she did. And um, they were married and lived happily ever after. He was her confidant, her best friend, her husband, they've been together all this time since the 70s when they married. Anyway, she passed away, so now he is about near 90, I would say, because I think he's quite a bit older than her, and um, he's devastated by the loss of her, and um, 
just as he doesn't even know what if he's gonna do, how he's gonna, you know, survive it. He probably won't live very long because he's very old, and that happens a lot of times. You know, couples will, one will go and the other one will go shortly after. You know. So anyway, very good documentary called Crazy Love, um, the story of Linda D something, and uh, I think that's her name, D'Angelo or something like that. And um, Bernie Pugash, and a uh, very fascinating story, and I very much enjoyed it. I also wanted to share that I am well over 150 viewers on my vlog channel, and I have uh, over 100 on my Reborn channel, so I decided I wanted to do a drawing. Um, look, I, my bracelet is loaded up with charms, and I have enough to make another really pretty one, and so I want to give one of these away in a drawing. Um, please don't just subscribe to enter my drawing. It's really for my viewers that have been watching. If you've been watching for a while and you just didn't ever subscribe or comment, now would be the time. And um, that way you can get in on the drawing. Now for the men's, um, I'm going to show all this stuff tomorrow and give all the details and do an actual video for it. But I want to give you guys a heads up to look out for the video. Um, the men's uh, prize on this channel, um, well I only will have... Men, I won't have men's prize on the other channel, but on this channel, it will be um, two, four antique button covers that I got that are just gorgeous. And um, I thought I'd sell them, and then I thought, no, I'm going to give those away in one of my drawings to my men folk because it's always hard to find stuff for you guys. You know, it's easy to find girly stuff, but it's hard to think of what I might, you know, give my men viewers. So there will be a lady viewer and a men viewer uh, subscriber. Um, will win that one and then over on my Reborn channel I'm going to do um, random drawing so you, if you're a man and you have a baby go ahead and enter and I'll be giving away a brush set brush and comb set um, a bottle and diaper and a hair bow set so three prizes over there two over here you can uh, um, enter on both so be sure and look out for the videos if you're subscribed to both my channels make sure you enter both because you can that's cool so I love you all. Be blessed and I'll talk to you very soon. I'm going to go take another pill and go to bed. Olivia's gone and Nana is out, over and out and off duty. So be blessed and I will talk to you all tomorrow. And I will make the, um, the contest rules and show you the prizes and all that. And I'm going to make the bracelet tonight. And uh, we'll show you what it's going to be up for drawing. And I'll make a little contest of some sort, but I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just do a random drawing this time. I am going to do a drawing. Still, um, I did this once and nobody entered at all, but I would love for somebody to make me an intro for my channel. And uh, so start thinking of that and I will give away a good prize for that, um, for the, the winner. Um, and probably what I'll do is I'll put the uh, video up, and the videos up and let the viewers choose. So that'd be fun too. So please, please consider doing that for me because I'll make sure you get a good prize and um, I really need that done and I don't know how to do it. So be blessed. Love you all and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye.